Oh man. Yeah. I mean, everybody. See, everybody knows. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Theo Williams, and we are back at it again for another delicious episode of America's Best Restaurants. Today, I am in Lake Perry in Kansas, and I am about to be treated to a really great time as we are here at High Tide 21. I heard the food is delicious, but the scenery is something to die for. So let's go inside, take a look, and get to the eating. Hey Theo from America's Best Restaurant. My name's Emily. Welcome to High Tide 21. I really appreciate you guys inviting me here today. Clearly, uh, I was ready and waiting for you, so I have some hot <laughs> cheese curds ready and waiting with oh. a side of our ranch and our TNT sauce. Nice. So this this is the TNT sauce it's right here. It's got some right? jalapenos in there, so be careful. I don't want you choking. Okay. Well, I think a lot of times the problem with choking and doing this job is trying to talk and eat at the same time. That's I, ha I had the same problem of talking too much. <laughs> Food just goes down the wrong pipe. <laughs> so I'm gonna give this uh, this uh, TNT sauce a try. I'm a big fan. Oh man. Yeah. I mean, everybody, see, everybody knows that when it, you're- It sneaks up on you when you're trying to go this fast and it's kicking you there. Ooh. But it's good, it's good. The best way to eat a cheese curd is with ranch sauce. However, guys took it up a notch, put that jalapeno in there. You know what I do is I do both. Ooh. The TNT and then the ranch. You got the spicy and the cool. So clearly, Emily's describing herself, spicy and cool. Because that's why that's how she already knew about it. <laughs> I just like my food. I just like my food. So tell me a little bit about, you know, your role here. Obviously, you know, you're out here, you're meeting me in America's Best Restaurants here. So clearly, you have a role here that is really important here. Uh, well, I try to be important. I try to do as much as I can. I am the general manager out here. Um, so my desk is from the front of the house, behind the bar, to trying to open the kitchen. I'm a very good fry cook, but that's about the best I can do back there. So we leave it to the real cooks. Nice. Um, <laughs> I'm actually very good personally at taking pictures of the sunsets because we have some amazing sunsets back there. We have our sunset patio and then also down below we have our adult 21 and up pool Ooh. that has a swim up bar yeah. for adult time. You come out here, no kids, no kids are splashing you in the pool. You can sit there with your frozen drink. I'm a big fan of the ocean water. I'm, I'm a big fan of everything you're telling me right now. It all sounds like so awesome. Like, thank goodness I brought my swim trunks today because I think I'm about to go take a swim later today. Glad that you did, <laughs> but I have seen somebody climb in that pool with all their clothes on before because they just couldn't resist. Just sloshing around. How can you do that? Just just everything is just damp and you just, just everything. You just whoosh, 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 whoosh. Just wearing jeans and everything. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, everybody's here having a good time. Well, I was prepared today. I was very prepared for a good time. Yeah, because if you weren't, then I don't know if you'd get along. Yeah, I can understand that. I can see that. Well, Emily, I appreciate you so much. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for bringing out these cheese curds. They're phenomenal. Love a good cheese curd. Can't go wrong with a good cheese curd. Absolutely not. We all want to try that. I think I will a little later. I think that's the plan for the day. We'll see. Watch that sunset. I can't wait. As a matter of fact, I think I'm about to go out to the world right now. Just check out the city. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So right now I'm hanging out with Leah. Leah is a manager here at High Tide 21. Leah. Thank you so much for joining us out here. This is a beautiful view that you guys have here. I'm really loving the water. You can see the sailboat in the background, you know, got jet skis and, and boats going all over the place. This is awesome. <laughs> well, we're glad to have you out here. I mean, this is the best view. It this is. is. It doesn't get any better than this, honestly. No, I'm really loving the view. So, you know, tell me about the vibe here. You know, people come here, I assume this is a really chill place. Like, it has to be a chill place. You know, you got the pool up there. You know, it's overlooking this beautiful, uh, this beautiful lake. You know, I was inside the bar, it's dope. You guys were just having a good time, it seemed like. Oh yeah, this is one of, if you just want to have a good night, no worries, stress-free, this is the place to be. 
I mean, all ages. We've got young to even the oldies come out and have fun out here. So <laughs> it does all age ranges. The oldies. Where, where does old even get naughty when you get in trouble like that? <laughs> so, I mean, so what is a typical like weekend night? Like, let's say, because I got to imagine like this place is on fire or during the weekend. Oh, yeah. So pretty much on a Saturday night is when this place, Saturday day, all day on the weekend, pretty much. You'll see. From open to close, this place is filled from the pool to the restaurant to the patio. I mean, people everywhere. Nice. <laughs> we do events out here. We've got a lot going on out here. It's a pretty cool spot. So like you just mentioned events, like kind of touched on, well, you know, if I were to come here on a random Saturday night, you know, what kind of things do you guys have? Maybe not even a Saturday night, a window, random Wednesday night, Tuesday night, you know, tell me about some of the things that you guys have here that's really appealing to people to come through. Yeah, so we've got DJs every weekend, live DJs. We've got, um, we hold events like birthdays. If you want to hold a birthday out here, we've got that. We keep vendors down here. Um, we kind of hit everywhere around the ball, so. Anything you're looking for, we have it all posted and you can find us on Facebook and see it. Hey, I've been telling you guys, keep it locked to High Tide 21's Facebook page because that's, that's where you're going to get all. Go. Absolutely. Yep. That's where you will find everything. <laughs> you know, I got to imagine, you know, being, you know, almost the halfway point between Kansas City and Topeka, you get a lot of different clientele that comes through here. Oh, yeah, we get everybody pretty much. It's a very large range of groups of people that we get in here. I mean, unique anything. And that's part of the job is seeing meeting so many different types of people and a lot of people come up here not knowing people and they leave with friends that is new friendships new yep I love to hear that, man, because that just tells you like how much of a vibe this place is. Because oh, yeah. anytime you can go someplace and just they'll be complete strangers and they'll go from complete strangers to just a couple of visits to the bar. Now you got friends where you want to hang out right. with. Right. And now they'll come back up. <laughs> and a lot of familiar faces around here, too. We've got a lot of our locals. We even have people that will drive in 45 an hour wow. to come out here. Yep. Wow. A lot of people from Missouri as well. So it's not just Kansas that people are coming they're wow. coming from anywhere i mean you got a place that's very special here so that doesn't really surprise me like i know this is the type of place where if i had some free time i would love to just drive out here and just hang out you know find a place to stay because clearly i'm gonna have myself a good time you know what i'm <laughs> oh, saying <yeah. laughs> we will make sure of that as well awesome. our staff out here we're great everybody takes care make sure the guests are taken care of that is awesome. So you got any special memories of this place? Anything really fun that happened where you're just like, yeah, that was a good time. Or there, sometimes these stories can't be shared on camera. So I totally understand that as well. <laughs> well, um, honestly, just the owners, the staff. I mean, Larry, he's awesome. His family's awesome. They've done, a, they take pride in their workers and their employees. They make sure that you have a good time. They make, I mean, just interacting with guests, meeting new people, that's the highlight of my day. Nice, nice. Getting a feel, creating relationships with people from around everywhere. Nice, I love to hear it. A real people person right here. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yep. All right, so Leah, I got this wonderful sandwich that I can no longer neglect that's here right now. Tell me what I'm looking at right here. So you're looking at our captain's club, and that's going to have turkey, ham, pepper jack cheese melted, uh, bacon on it with tomatoes and pickles, and that is actually one of our hit sandwiches that people will die for. It's a it nice is. hulking sandwich right there. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's some awesome. weight behind this bad boy right here. When I tell you this, this is thick, <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is thick like Meg the Stallion right here. So <laughs> I'm about to just chomp right down. Do you mind? Do you mind if I just chomp down on this? Go ahead. I'm going to get, it's going to get messy. It is going to get messy. That's what we're here for. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. That's a good club sandwich right there. What's it called again? It's the Captain's Club. Mm. So tell me what's on there. You've got turkey, ham, bacon, melted pepper jack cheese on it with tomato, lettuce, and pickle. Wow. That's a delicious sandwich. Perfect. Or when you're out by the pool, it's not too heavy. Oh, yeah. You order one of these bad boys, hang out. Eat it, go right back to the pool, having a good time. Yep, keeps the light too. 
So I really appreciate this, Leah. Delicious sandwich, great conversation. Um, but I think now it's time for me to have a conversation with Larry. Go ahead, <laughs> she's all yours. <laughs> all right, guys, well, stay tuned for me and the conversation with the owner, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, so right now I'm here with the owner of High Tide 21, Larry Mosher. Larry, thank you so much for having us here, man. This place is dope. We're sitting here hanging out in this sweet cabana. You know, I got this awesome looking cheeseburger in front of me, man. I love this vibe here, dude. Thanks, thanks. Glad to have you. I'm really excited. So, you know, I'm looking at this wonderful masterpiece of American food right here. Tell me what this is that I'm looking at that I'm about to sink my teeth into. This is my crowd pleaser here. This is the... Um, queso burger. We do it with a melty white queso blanco cheese sauce, crispy uh, bacon bits, and shredded cheddar cheese. Wow. And we smother the burger and the fries because we're all about healthy on this one. <laughs> all right, so yeah, I got to go for the burger first. The fries look amazing, but the burger, obviously, that's that's the start of the show, right? You got to get a piece of that burger, so I'm going to go hard on this one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is the one that feeds your soul. Wow. I'll definitely wait about 15, 20 minutes before swimming after eating this. <laughs> that is a tasty burger, man. Tell me about the ingredients that you use on this. Well, we use a fresh uh, 1920 or 81 ground beef on it. We patty those out and do a nice hard sear on them. We season it with our own uh, blend of uh, spices. Got to give it a little extra something, something. Then, uh, pretty simple. Our queso sauce is kind of a secret for us, but one of our popular items. And just that crispy bacon. You can't go wrong with bacon. So this is definitely that soul food we like. And this is actual bacon that y'all cook and chopped up yourself. Yep. Yep. I can tell that like this ain't no bacon bits, this ain't no store-bought bacon that you put on salads or nothing like that. This is actual bacon. That was I can tell how fresh that is. And then on top of that, another thing I can tell immediately from biting into this burger is how fresh the meat is. Yes. Like that is that meat is damn near refreshing. We fluff it, get that extra breathability to it, patty it out, press and go. Another thing I'm impressed by by the patty is that's not no small patty. That's a big patty right there in between these buns, bro. We're, we're gonna feed you. <laughs> and then we got that sweet brioche roll on it. Yes, sir. You can never go wrong with a brioche. Never can go wrong never. with a brioche. Yeah, man, you knocked that burger out the park, bro. That's that's a, that, that's a really good burger. Now I'm gonna dip into these fries. You know what I'm saying? I wanna get these fries, but I wanna get a nice little, try to get myself a nice piece of bacon, as well as the cheese right here. There we go. Nice little, mm. Yeah, dude. They don't. They go together perfectly. Go together, absolutely perfectly. But I, everything I've had here so far today, really good. Cheese curds and that TNT sauce. Oh yeah. Boom. <laughs> and then that club. What was it? The General or something? The Captain's Club. The Captain's Club. Loved it. Crowd pleaser. But this burger right here. That's a man's burger right there, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> and a woman's burger. I don't want to exclude anybody. <laughs> so, since I got you here, Larry, tell me about you know your origin story with this place. Like, start from the very beginning, because from what I understand, man, you have a long history with. It may have not been called High Tide Twenty One at the time, yep. but this 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 exact property. Yes. Um... Back in high school, I moved here when my mother remarried and uh, took a job at an old place here called Crow's Nest, which is the building that we lost through the flood, you know, back in 1819 here. And uh, so in that building, uh, first real hard job, worked a lot there. And oddly enough, I met my wife cooking there. So and 25 years later. Wait, so here. when you said there, you mean here? Here. Wow. <laughs> Better here, proposed on the old deck that survived the flood, and yeah, you know, many years later, full circled right back here. So, Larry, that's amazing. So, what you're telling me, what you're telling America is, 
you got married, or excuse me, you proposed, met your wife here, obviously not in that order. <laughs> and now, here you guys are, right back here, now you're the owner. Like, that is a perfect circle type of a story, man. It is, very nice. So I gotta imagine this place holds heavy sentimental value for you. It does, it's, it is personal for me. Um, <laughs> it's somewhere where, as a kid, it gave me somewhere constructive to spend my time and I learned a lot and I made a little money and just the life lessons alone were great. So being able to be in this role and this opportunity here, you know, one of the things I do love is that I've got a number of young high school students that work here for me and it gives them that same opportunity I had. And, you know, I had my own daughter working here for a while. So, yeah, it's really, really good special. stuff. Yeah, I love to hear it, man. Any special memories? I mean, because you've been here, I, I got to imagine you're getting constantly hit with flashbacks when you're here on this property. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my first experience here, uh, the lake was frozen over and I'd never really been to a lake growing up. And my old bosses, they said, yeah, let's go for a walk. So <laughs> I'm like, all right. So we walk out there and we're about 40 yards into the lake. And they said, you know, if you hear any ice cracking, freeze, because you know, you're on the frozen lake, you to keep it safe. <laughs> and we get out there about 40 feet and I hear cracking and I freeze. And I'm like, what do I do? And I look over my shoulder and my two bosses were running off the Oh ice. no. <laughs> they just left me hanging. Oh no. <laughs> so they gave me a quick life lesson there. So, but uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> Yo, they it's, left you. <laughs> it's just one of those things where this is a place where people can come and make a memory, hang out with someone they, you know, either they know or they just met. The number of guests that come through, they make new friends all the time. I hear about it. We have so many great people visiting us from all over the place. Uh, we are young owners, you know, um, came in as the general manager when this new building was built for a place. Uh, and had the opportunity to take over as the owner this year in March. And it's just something special. Um, we're just a real family that's local, trying to do a good job, give people something nice to experience. And, you know, we make mistakes and we try to grow on it. And we just, uh, we want this to be something where people can enjoy, relax, and make a new memory. So that, you know, years down, they're talking about something that happened here that was great for them. Absolutely. You know, and I got to say, man, you know, the place is just really cool. You know, the bar itself is, is like, I mean, it's a really nice bar with a lot of drink options you guys have there. You got the slushy machines, so you can have a lot of different drinks with the slushy machines. And then once you leave the bar, I mean, the bar itself is already impressive. Then once you leave the bar, it's just like there's levels to this, bro. Because like, then you come down to the patio. The patio is nice. Oh, never mind. You come down. Yo, you got the pools with the cabanas. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Wait, I got to do one more bigger. I got the <laughs> lake right behind me. We can go down to the lake, have something to eat. My guy, when I tell you, like, this is an experience. This is absolutely an experience that, you know, if anybody is in the area of Perry, like, you don't even have to be in the area. Like, because, you know, you got Kansas City, you got Topeka in this area. If you were just passing through these areas, man, like, it's a great place to stop by. It is. It is. It's like a little getaway. Um, it's close enough to everything you need, but it's far enough away to where you're not just overwhelmed with the city and everything going on around it. Yeah. No, um, and I, I hear you, man. And, and one of the things that I also really love about High Tide 21 is the fact that you guys are actually involved in the community. Like, you're not just a business here that's just taking away money. Like, yeah. you're actually giving back to the community. Yes, uh, and it's in different forms. Sometimes it's a uh, simple donation for uh, a motorcycle charity run. Uh, you know, we'll give gift cards out, t-shirts. Um, I just uh, had a donation package to the Ronald McDonald House recently. Um, fantastic organization and it was just great meeting them and being a part of it. Um, we're starting to get more and more involved with the school's athletics. Um, they're doing fundraisers, we're providing baskets, Vanna rentals for, you know, for free. You know, something to give them out, just have fun. You know, we want people to just get out and have a good time. And slowly but surely, we're trying to be more and more impactful in the community. Uh, it's, we grew up here, it's important to us. You know, there's a lot of great kids, a lot of great organizations around here, just a lot of great people, you know. You know, and, and like obviously this is the type of place where not only yourself, 
but you know, a lot of relationships have been developed and nurtured here. So um, the fact that you're also developing a, re a relationship and nurturing those relationships within the community just speaks to this restaurant and you know everything that you guys have going on here, man. You know, one of the questions I have for you is, you know, you're doing so much right now. The place is so awesome right now. You've only been here for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. You know, tell me what's next for a High Tide 21. A lot of that depends on our guests and our feedback. For example, the cabanas we're sitting in now, I received a tremendous amount of feedback from guests saying, hey, cabanas would really be nice here. So we, you know, I listened to them and we put two cabanas in. You know, a um, couple of different things. You know, we have the kids' splash pad up here. We're going to put a tarp over it, uh, a sunshade, and add to that for the kids. We're looking for more outdoor entertainment as far as uh, activities. We want everyone that comes in from all ages to have something to do, whether it's uh, cornhole games or, um, you know, the table pong, any of those things. Uh, we are looking at new entertainment as we go into next year. We're expanding. Uh, one thing we started last month is we opened up our back parking lot and our lower deck and all we did was we invited local vendors to come up and have a spot to sell their stuff. Nice, nice. We don't charge for it, we just open it up to the community and let them have at it. I love to hear it, man. So, you know, I'm not from around here. This is what I always say when I'm doing these interviews. I'm not from around here, guys. I've got, like this, this has been my first trip into the Topeka, the Kansas City area. So, I'm originally, you know, from out of the area. I'm sitting back at home, I'm chilling. I got my feet kicked up, I'm looking at TV. I'm saying, wow, that place looks really cool. But what would you tell me to sell me? I'm sitting at home as to why I need to take a trip out to Perry, Kansas to come to High Tide 21, man. This is where you make a new memory. This is where you meet a new friend. This is where you see the best sunset in the entire state of Kansas. This is where you have a good meal, good service, and just a new experience. We have different things that we do throughout the year, so you're not gonna come in and have the same experience twice. Nice. Every day is a beautiful new day for us here. I love to hear it, man. Well, you guys are doing a great job. Uh, everything I've had here is phenomenal. I'm still, like, I'm still, look, truth be told, like, I can't eat every meal, all, all the meal, because there's a lot of meals within the episode, but this burger, about to go to work on this burger. <laughs> this is a good burger right here. Man, Larry, thank you so much. I think I gotta jump in this pool, man. I've had a great time so far, man. <laughs> You gotta hop in and cool off. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna cool off. This is hot. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I just had a wonderful time here at High Tide 21. We had a great time hanging out here. All the food was really amazing, man. That queso burger was the truth, dude. And then everything else was phenomenal. I loved having all the conversations with all the awesome people that I talked here today. And now I get to chill in this wonderful pool overlooking a beautiful lake. If you want something to do and you're in the area of either Kansas City or Topeka, or you're just driving through Kansas and want to have a good place to chill, I definitely suggest High Tide 21. I'm Theo Williams for America's Best Restaurants. Hope to see you.